you stepped into school and sing it. Nobody does that ever. School's not for everyone. And these successful celebs proved that a high school diploma isn't always necessary. Oh! What'd I do? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrities who never graduated from high school. I never thought we'd get this far. <laughs> for this list, we're looking at celebs who decided to follow their dreams instead of their education, or who were forced to leave school because of some sort of hardship. Education. Uh, some, I'd... here, there, you know. But in their cases, it looks like things worked out for the best. <laughs> what the f was I talking about? Number 10, Quentin Tarantino. Mr. Brown, that's a little too close to Mr. Shit. You may know him as the brilliant screenwriter, actor, producer, and director behind some of modern cinema's greatest hits, including Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, and Django Unchained. However, Tarantino's cinematic background was not learned in school. He dropped out of Narbonne High School sometime after the ninth grade and decided to take a more hands-on approach to his film education. But you know what's on my mind right now? It ain't the coffee in my kitchen. He subsequently took on a few acting classes, community theater, worked as an usher at an adult movie theater, and took a video store gig before making it big. Anytime you want to left dance with that girl, kid, just let me know, all right? Number 9. Robert Downey Jr. I am Iron Man. This actor, famous for making Charlie Chaplin and Iron Man come to life, and whose charming persona has broken our hearts in films like Less Than Zero and busted our guts in films like Tropic Thunder, never made it to his graduation. Let's party! Around the age of 16, this child actor and son of Robert Downey Sr. dropped out of Santa Monica High School and decided to move back to New York City to pursue acting instead. Let's face it, this is not the worst thing you've caught me doing. 1985 turned out to be a breakout year in his post-academic acting career, with roles in films like Tough Turf and Weird Science foreshadowing the talent we've come to expect from Downey Jr. I've got to give it a try. Otherwise, what have I been doing? Number 8. Robert De Niro You talking to me? You talking to me? Yes, we're talking about him. Although today he's considered one of the greatest actors alive, with beloved and critically acclaimed roles in Raging Bull, Taxi Driver, and The Godfather Part II, to name only a few. De Niro's beginnings were somewhat humble. A child of divorced parents, he drifted from school to school in his youth, but even at a young age displayed his aptitude for acting. Just want to go out and, and you know, like really, really, really do something. Before turning 17, Bobby D decided to drop out of high school entirely and instead studied acting at the Stella Adler Conservatory and Lee Strasberg's actor studio. <laughs> The rest is history. So you're talking, you're talking to me? Well, I'm the only one here. Number seven, Nicolas Cage. Well, gosh, kind of a lot's happened since then. The nephew of director Francis Ford Coppola, Cage has shown that he can hold his own without using his famous family name with his award-winning performance in Leaving Las Vegas, as well as appearances in smash hits like The Rock and National Treasure. Here they are! That was brilliant. However, few know that at the age of 16, the young Nicholas Coppola, obsessed with James Dean and with big dreams of acting, dropped out of Beverly Hills High School. There we go, yes? Let's do it to it. Early on in his career, he changed his last name to Cage, and before long, he landed a minor role in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I am so tired of dealing with incompetence. Number six. Tom Cruise. All right! Good food. All right! Can you picture this handsome and successful actor sitting with you in a confessional? Get out of here. That's almost what happened to Cruise, who grew up poor in an abusive family and who moved to over a dozen different schools in his childhood. Maybe I'm just too old to be a student. Although he enjoyed playing sports like floor hockey and football, his real aspiration was to become a Catholic priest going so far as to study at a seminary. 
but by his mid-teens, this dyslexic student left academics altogether to pursue acting in New York City. You're not a goddamn thing any one of those professors says makes a difference on the street. If you know that, you're ready to graduate. His first bit part was in 1981's Endless Love, and it was only a few years later that films like Risky Business and Top Gun made him a superstar. I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! Number 5. Hilary Swank What'd you get suspended for? Oh, it's a long story. I'll tell you later. At a young age, the athletic Swank was busy. Between school, community theater programs, gymnastics, the Junior Olympics, and the Washington State Swimming Championships, she didn't have time for much else. After the separation of her parents, however, Swank went with her mother to Los Angeles to pursue acting. Though she initially went to South Pasadena High School, her feeling of isolation from her fellow students finally compelled her to leave. Maybe I should just forget about school, forget about my life. Can I just lock myself in my room and listen to music all day? She probably doesn't look back at her choice with regret. After her first leading role in The Next Karate Kid, she has since won two Academy Awards. I know if you train me right, I'm gonna be a champ. I seen you looking at me. Yeah, out of pity. Don't you say that. Don't you say that if it ain't true. Number four, Jim Carrey. Excuse me. Could you tell me how to get to the medical school? I'm supposed to be doing a lecture in about 20 minutes and my driver's a bit lost. Imagine having this comedy legend in your class. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> yes, Carrie was a class clown, go figure, who got straight A's back in the day. Excuse me, I'd like to ask you a few questions. However, with the onset of hard times, a 15-year-old Carrie was compelled to leave school and work as a janitor to help take care of his family. It was only later that he chose to give comedy a try. And are we ever glad he did? This choice led to hilarious classics like Dumb and Dumber and Ace Ventura, as well as more serious ventures like The Truman Show and Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. In case I don't see ya. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Number three, Diana, Princess of Wales. At the age of 19, you always think you're prepared for everything, and you think you have the knowledge of what's coming ahead. Just because you're a princess doesn't mean you're a high honors graduate. Diana Spencer, who later became the beloved Princess of Wales, was not considered a very good student at West Heath Girls' School. In fact, when attempting to complete her O-level exams, a series of tests given to high school students in England to determine their academic ability, she managed to fail all of them, twice. She did try. And I think she hadn't a clue why she wasn't good. I think the underlying troubles at home in her family just affected her concentration. Despite moving to a finishing school in Switzerland, she never finished. I've had a small run out to it all in the last six months. <laughs> and next to Prince Charles and I can't go wrong. The 19-year-old became engaged to Prince Charles and quickly married him, eventually using her newfound status to champion humanitarian causes. Number 2. Nicole Kidman How long have you known? When her mother was diagnosed with breast cancer, the 17-year-old Kidman dropped out of high school to help provide for her family by working in massage therapy. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. If I have to work harder, longer hours for less pay, then I'm willing to do that. Of course I am. Shortly after, she decided to pursue a career in acting, inspired by Margaret Hamilton's portrayal of the Wicked Witch of the West in The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and ended up going back to school to study her craft. Although naturally shy, she went on to make her debut in an Australian remake of the film Bush Christmas, though her breakthrough internationally acclaimed role was a few years later in Dead Calm. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I haven't seen you, I haven't seen you since, uh, since... Yeah, since, since, um... Senior prom. Number 1. 
Number one, Richard Branson. I would say I am the luckiest um, person in the world. Surely any billionaire must have made his money thanks to years of intense schooling, right? Well, maybe not. This poor student, who suffered from dyslexia and subsequently received poor grades, eventually dropped out to start up his own magazine at the age of 16. Using that money, I left school and uh, la launched this magazine. Then a mail-order record business by the age of 20, and eventually a chain of record stores called Virgin Records. You know, if you have a passion for what you're doing, um, you're going to be able to do it to do it that much better. Today, he's the proud founder and face of Virgin Group, a multinational comprising over 400 companies and one of the top 10 richest people in the UK, fulfilling the prophecy of the schoolmaster who told him that he would either end up in jail or become a millionaire. Something uh, the headmaster of your school said about you uh, when you were just uh, a teenager. What did he say? I think he said, I'll either... Uh, go to prison or I'll become a multi-millionaire. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It was flipping. Which celebrity high school dropouts do you envy the most? Oh, yes. <laughs> For more fascinating top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. a wonderful audience, I'll be here all week. Be sure to tip your waitress.